Welcome to Critical Gaming 93. Now, on behalf of the owner, my name is Cleo. I'm going to share with you what this channel is all about. If you guys are into online gamings, games like Call of Duty, Monster Hunter, World of Warcraft, or even Cyberpunk 2077, do join in the fun. And you can actually request to actually join in the game. So do remember to subscribe and also not forgetting to join the Facebook. Now, today's video, I'm going to feature on something different from gaming. In fact, everyone wanted a very unique case on their gaming system. So the owner of this channel have actually asked me on this question whereby, can he make use of any ARGB fans to be used on this Unifan controller coming from Lenly? Now, the answer is yes and no, and I'll show you how. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not going to hold any responsibility if you blow up your unit because right now I do know how this thing works. So if you do not know how, do not try to execute this. Now, just to explain, these are the tools I'll be using. Basically, the uh, crimping tools and the cutting tools and the material. The material itself consists of the 3-pin uh, and 4-pin, which is known as JST, O3 and O. For this is actually for the fan load and this is for the ARGB. And of course the pin outs, or should I say the pin, a screwdriver, flat head, a Zacto knife, a wire stripper, a crimper, and a sharp wire cutter. Now why I do do I need this tool itself? Because I'm gonna tidy up or should I say custom cream all these cables. Let me just show you why. Okay, probably I should move away all these tools first. Now, the original fans itself, right, that EK have supplied. Reason being, right, because the cables here are very long. See? So if you do, if you do, do them, as in like daisy chain them together you're gonna have a lot of mess so as upon request from the owner itself he wanted me to actually do custom crimping for him so that he can do the uh, tidy uh, cable management properly which I've actually done and I'll show you the process now why do I actually choose why do I actually recommend this EK Verda EVO fans to him is because this control unit itself right in order to make use of it you need to know the power limit or should I, should I say the ampere limit of this unit itself so as a gauge now looking at the SL120 itself right if you can see that the uh, current drawn from the fan is uh, in fact 12 volt 0 0.18 ampere and the LED which is actually the ARGB is drawing a current of 0 0.65 ampere each fan and for the uh, EK Verda itself right on the specification itself if you can see now the uh, power load on the fan is in fact 2.16 watt which is actually converted to 0 0.18 ampere which is just nice and the um, LED power drawn right or should I say the ARGB drawn is actually at 0 0.14 so 0 0.14 to each fan as compared to the SL120, which is 0 0.65, you can use it. It's safe to use. So I can actually daisy chain, sorry, I can actually daisy chain three of these fans together and plug on to one of the unit here. But as for the fan connection, right, I will not plug the fan connection directly to this unit itself. Reason being, right, be it both are actually running or should I say drawing the current at 0 0.18 ampere this unit is synchronized with the RPM on the SL120 itself and it's not synchronized with the EK Verda reason being right this is running max 220 RPM and this is actually rated as 1800 RPM so it's different so if you do plug this into the control unit and if you do control the RPMs itself right it's not going to be right Alright, in this process, I will show you how I actually do the crimping. Then next, I will test out the uh, unit and to show you on the actual um, 
Unifan controller, how it's controlling all these fans itself. As you can see, everything is done up nicely for him and I've even done the uh, cable ties for him so that you don't have to actually do it. He just have to actually mount all these fans onto his old 11D XL. And this is actually the bottom, this is actually the top and this is actually the rear. Now, for those of you who actually do not know how to do crimping, right, do not worry. There is another way. In fact, if you purchase any fans, right, it's actually ARGB. Some of them, they come with a daisy chain ARGB normal connector, just like this uh, Evo here, or should I say the EK Verda. Now, do take note, not all ARGB fans you can just use. Make sure that you know what's the uh, LED power drawn. So long as it's below 0 0.65 ampere, you'll be safe. For this, it's actually 0 0.14. The black version, for some reason, is actually 0 0.2, but still on the safe side, you can use it. Now, the uh, normal ARGB cables is like that. So all you need to do is actually to purchase a converter, which does the uh, ARGB, normal ARGB connection to a JST-03 female connector. I'll show you on the website. Now, as you can see, this is where you can actually obtain the uh, converter itself, or I say, should I say the connector itself. It's actually a one-to-one -one and it's a female 5 volt 3-pin connector. 
Now, I'm going to bring you back to where I have mentioned. Now, on the fan itself, right, as I mentioned that you can just daisy chain. This is actually a daisy chain kind of ARGB cable from the fan. So we can daisy chain them. Then on one of the uh, connector, right, you can just use the normal ARGB connector to connect to the fan. Then on the other end, you can just connect straight to the uh, unifan controller see all right having to say so right i'm going to shift all this and going to show you the uh, final result with this fans on the controller itself as you can see here i've actually connected the uh, fans to this unifan controller i've actually set the top section here to input one and the bottom section here as input three so on the um, controller itself right if i were to actually switch let's say i'll select to set one and i change this to let's say color cycle if i were to apply see it reacts set one will react and set three will remain as the rainbow colors and right now if i were to change set three to something else for example run away when i apply see it reacts it reacts so you can see you can actually control differently and it's kind of unique because you can do it individually and something very very unique that these fans are not in strips just like the SL120 is something very um, different and I can actually do for um, for example fireworks see I can even control okay let me just apply all yep I can even control the speed see or I can actually do something like stack see it just reacts or I can actually do something else which is mixing One thing I like about the uh, EK Verda fans is that it's very vibrant. The colors is very um, distinctive as compared to the uh, Crosshair um, fans. No offense, but this is actually my take. All right, there you have it. I've actually shown you that it's possible to actually connect other ARGB fans on this control unit itself. I hope you have actually enjoyed it. Now, I'd like to invite all the gamers out there to join Critical Gaming 93. If you're interested, kindly subscribe and to click on the notification button or to join the owner with a game or two. Till then, take care. Goodbye.